Sun Life Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida for the 2013 Discover BCS National Championship. Here tonight, two of the more renowned schools in the history of college football, Notre Dame and Alabama, will compete for a national championship. For Alabama, a win would put a period on their latest dynasty. For Notre Dame, a win would reclaim their place at the summit. Jones from the one yard line to the middle and out to about the 19 yard line. Doug Nussmeyer, the offensive coordinator, sticks with his same personnel. On first down, it's the play action. McCarron's going to throw deep. Norwood's got it in midfield. Oh, 29 yards on the game. Norwood didn't have just a good day, Herbie. He had a career day against LSU at New Orleans. Now show the Nevada offense. Handed back off to Lacey. Lacey behind the left tackle, and he crushes the defense for another first down, and there's a penalty flag as Lacey's helmet came off on the play. He would leave for a play unless it was ripped off, and there's a penalty. Then he could stay on the field. Eddie Lacy saddles up, back in. Quanjo, Warmack, Jones, Steen, and DJ Fluker. That's your offensive line. That's as good as it gets in college football. As good as any we've seen in several years. Lacy bolts middle, still going end zone, and Eddie Lacy scores the first touchdown of the night. Yard run for number 42. Well, during that timeout instant replay at ample time, there was no notification down below. So Notre Dame will be punting, and Christian Jones is back deep for the tide. Fair catch, and he signaled late. Fumble, flag comes down. Let's see if there was contact. He signaled for the fair catch at the 25-yard line. Even though he doesn't make contact, he still has to give him room, and he can't come so close that he in, that he causes the, the receiver to, to bother the ball. So I think it's a good call. So that was a good call, in yes. your opinion. Okay, third down and one. Here is Lacey for a first down, and the big fella is rumbling. Little lateral over to Lacey, trying to find the edge, and he's forced out of bounds. McCarron fires for the first down, and he comes right back to Marvin Shin, who is a redshirt freshman. Second and five, spins it out to Amari Cooper, the very talented freshman from Northwestern High School in Miami. Lacey is in on third and one. He gets the call, steps through and breaks into daylight. Ten, headed in zone, down short of it. The nose tackle, Jesse Williams, is in as a blocking back, number 54. Got a throw, touchdown, the other Williams, Michael Williams, the tight end. Daddy played in the National Football League for a long time, and he's got good ability. Wilson, though, is forced out of the pocket on the move. Throws near side incomplete. Notre Dame forced to punt. This so is a big, it. big series for Notre Dame's defense, down 14. Yeldon cuts back to the left. Couldn't quite keep his balance. 
Mata was in on this. McCarron right now is just in a rhythm. He doesn't get a lot of pressure. They're running a lot to the left here behind the big left tackle, Quanjo, and big left chance for the left guard. There's that play action that he favors. Throws downfield for the first down, and the receiver breaks free. Norwood took it across midfield. The Irish turned him loose. That was 25 more yards to Norwood on that pass play. Norwood got 54 yards already tonight. Play action, fire, and that's complete to Cooper, the freshman from right here in Miami, and he slips down the sideline. Cooper's at the bottom of your screen. He's a deep threat. And A.J.'s looking his direction. Got Cooper, Amari Cooper down to the six-yard line. He's the one who can take it deep. Just ask the Georgia Bulldogs. This is the eighth play of this drive. The nose guard is the fullback in that formation in front of Yeldon. They've already had a long touchdown drive. And now they have two over 80 yards as Yeldon takes it across. Kirby, let's go back. Do you remember our opener? Alabama took a 21-0 lead over Michigan in their first game. And now here tonight, they lead the Irish 21-0. Only 23 total yards for the Irish, and over 200 for Bama. Golson straight back, has good time, fires downfield, caught by Daniels. There's the young man, Hurry, who can start to turn things around for the Irish. Brian Kelly said, we got to go. We're down three scores. It's fourth down and five. Got to make something happen. Golson going to fire deep. Jones. Jump ball deflected by Blue. The JC transfer was under attack, and he made a fine play that time. We got 11:27 remaining here in the first half. Desperately needing to get on the scoreboard. Low kick, long kneel back, fumbles, ball loose, headed for the sideline, dive, and it goes out of bounds. So the Irish will take over. Oh, this was close. Oh, baby. Notre Dame fans are saying, come on here, Irish. Let's get it going. First down and 10. Riddick up the middle, explodes. And the center fielder waited for him and took him down with the 29, Lester. Braxton Cave, the strongest player on the Notre Dame team, is the center who blew that open. And this time, nothing doing. I mean, they were jumped. Clinton Dix got all over him. Got a safety blitz. Quanjo, Warmack, Jones, Steen, and Fluker. And it's a three touchdown lead for the champions of the Southeastern Conference. Here is Lacey. Patiently picks his way for another first down. 92 yards for Lacey here. Just inside of eight minutes remaining in the first half. Wide open is the tight end, Michael Williams, who has one of their three touchdowns. Bunch receivers with a little motion. Cooper's at the bottom of the set. McCarron going to go deep. Cooper breaks free. Oh, he couldn't quite get it. All right, to have a home run. Fires to Daniels. And it was complete for a Notre Dame first down at the 32-yard line. Third down and a three. They have not converted a first down on third down yet. Play action. Golson, under pressure, spins away. Sack goal and down. <laughs> Why would you leave? You're making five million. Holy Toledo. Here we go now, second down and eight. Here's Yeldon. Barrels through for a first down. Kelly Johnson is the fullback on this third and three. Yeldon will follow Johnson. Johnson got blown up. And Yeldon with a second effort breaks free. He did it on his own. McCarron, this time, Jones has got it inside the 10 yard line. Two receivers to the left. McCarron throwing all the way. Drops it off. Lacey in a foot race. In zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Tied rolling again. The 
If this was a prize fight, they'd call it off. This is a, a drive where you want to get not just points on the board, but you want to get your, your team to believe, guys, this is possible. Off the blitz, throws complete. And they went at Milner again. Daniels makes the reception. They're not backing away from 28's reputation. No. Daniels had a broken clavicle in the BC game. Back off the injured list tonight. Golson fires other side and Jones. Dives for the first down, maybe just a little bit short on it as it's spotted. Second down and 10. Golson fires far side, one-on-one. -on -one. Daniels jump ball. Clinton Dix dives for it and he's got it. What a spectacular interception by number six, who's had a whale of a game. He's a sophomore from Orlando, Florida. Second and seven. Jackson's got Cooper. No Lacey. A hundred yard night. And works that far side. Yeldon. Swings it wide to the left and comes across the 40-yard line before Teo makes the stop. Need four yards here. Got it. Jones to the Irish 46-yard line. First down and 10. Here's Yeldon behind the left side to the 40-yard line. Here's your fourth and one, and Bama going for it with Lacey. He got it, slips through to the 33-yard line. A.J. McCarron now again with his balanced attack, looking to continue to move the football deeper into Notre Dame territory. Off that play-action move of his, sidestep left, come back right, Cooper's wide open. Touchdown, Alabama. 34 yards. I know this one hurts right now, but there's another fine recruiting class coming in. Golson's a youngster, snapping off another completion to Eifert. Eifert will be playing Sunday football. He's one of the better tight ends we've seen. 0 of 5 on third down and not favored on third and 16. Moving right, firing downfield, and he's got Jones. How about that? Third and 16, and Golson makes it happen with his feet. Golson fires back, complete to Jones, and inside the five-yard line. Or Lord pitch it out to the back to give him a chance to get to the corner. Wood and Riddick are both there with Golson. There you go. Golson's going to keep it on an option look and take it in the house. Touchdown, Notre Dame. They're taking really poor angles. Second and nine, draw play. Yeldon powers his way for the first down. 212 rushing yards and 215 passing yards for a very balanced Crimson Tide attack. Yeldon on a cutback, another blown tackle. And he crosses the 30-yard line with two minutes remaining in the third. Kenyon Drake, a very good-looking sophomore from Fort Walton Beach, Florida. He probably is number three here tonight if they ever get there. Second down, and here comes Lacey on that little delay. He crosses the 35 for a first down. Second down and seven for the Tide. McCarron comes toward the near side and puts it into Cooper's hands for a completion. What a throw. Just across oh. midfield. Oh, man. I'm talking about the Cleveland Browns. Find out if he's interested. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your third down and nine. McCarron fires right at the mark. Let's see if he gets the spot. That was Williams, the tight end. Third down and four. Lacey bursts to the middle. Across the 20-yard line. Now Yeldon with 89 yards checks in. He's an outstanding receiver, remember. 
McCarron fires in zone, touchdown, Bama, Amari Cooper. Second down and 10 for Golson and the Irish. Far side, Daniels. Daniels turns it up for a first down. Second down and 10, and you can start to think who will be in the top five preseason next year, and will Alabama be number one? We're thinking about championship game is back in Pasadena next year. Golson on the move. Fires to Jones. Jones slips the tackle, but he's short of the first down and out of bounds. It's going to be fun to try to see which team has a, the best chance next year. Third down and one. Golson fires complete to Eifert. Eifert slips the tackle and he's to the 44-yard line. And that youngster from Australia is going to play in the National Football League, too. He's a load. Golson fires middle. Daniels having a big game. 20 down to the 15. Daniels is probably the best weapon that Notre Dame has had tonight. Golson's 19 of 33 throwing for 254 and one interception. He'd like to strike here with eight and a half minutes left. Forced, wanted Jones to turn around, head back for the end zone, and got him. First down and goal. Eifert is out to the right. There are four receivers as Riddick steps out. Riddick catches it for a Notre Dame touchdown. Well, Herbie, you wanted an onside kick, and one's coming, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it better when we bring these two teams together? Wouldn't it have been fun to see Nebraska play Michigan that year? Yes. Second down now. And timeout by McCarron. And he's upset with he's what upset. With, he's upset with Barrett Jones. Wow. Boy, that is highly wow. unusual. I but thought for a he moment he might have been just so you understand, they're 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 upset because they're both making calls. And McCarron's trying to overrule Barrett Jones, and Barrett Jones is saying, <laughs> I, you know, I'm making Before the call. Before the time runs. <laughs> is this barking as he went off? Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> 6.04. Neal back deep, fields it at the 30-yard line. And he's down at the 37-yard line. They'll start on their own 37-yard line. Coming, Golson not going to slip it. Sacked at the 25-yard line. Because I still think we're just in the middle of it. I don't think this is the end of a run for Alabama. I think we're in the middle of it. I, I really believe that this is, in my lifetime, the best dynasty that I've ever seen in college football. All right. Jared, that's it. Sorry about that, my good, good friend. Everybody's trying to hide him. Saban knows he's coming. Oh, you got, you got DJ Fluker in the front. That'll, oh, that'll I mean, hide that. Barrett. Yeah, that's, that's the total that's equal. There we go. Yo, baby. <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> there they are. The process continues. And Saban with his third national championship at Alabama in four years he's all, all kidding aside he's still trying to coach that last play he's still there's no question the that's it <laughs> stay tuned for the ford bcs post game show immediately following tonight's game And now it's my pleasure, representing the American Football Coaches Association, to present the Coaches Trophy, presented by Dr. Pepper, to Coach Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Coach Saban, you lift the trophy again for the third time in the last four years. And each time you've done it before, you wanted to take a moment to say thank you to the people who are cheering for you right now. Well, you know, we have a great organization at the University of Alabama. 
starts with our president, our chancellor, Mal Moore, our athletic director, all of our fans who have been very, very supportive. And these players here have done a fantastic job in terms of their commitment, their work ethic, the sacrifices that they've made, not only on the field and how they've represented the university, but we're really proud of the way they represent us off the field as well.